Excuse me, just letting you know it just started snowing. The High Tech Nomad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Amazon Echo speak first. So I may say her name a couple of times. So if you have an Amazon Echo in the room, you may want to put it on mute so I don't keep accidentally triggering it. When I'm doing these videos for you guys, I'm torn between giving you all the instructions step by step, but I'm not going so slow that I'm boring. Some of you guys have mocked me and said that my videos are best played at 1.5 or 2. Ha ha. So what I want to do is go over it at the 10,000 foot view. If you want a longer detailed video that shows you exactly what to do, leave a comment below. I just figured this out today and I wanted to share it with you today. So that's why we're doing it this way. Normally your Amazon Echo does not say anything to you unless you say something to it first. But there are times where it would be better if she spoke without being prompted. The way that we're going to do this is through a virtual button. And there are two ways of doing this. There's an easy, simple way of doing it, which is using a great app by a great programmer who also did the notify me skill. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for that up top. He's got it down to a simple app and with it, you can be up and running in a few minutes. I'm going to show you the less easy way of doing it. All right. So when I say have it speak first, what can it do if it speaks first? Well, it can do things like tell you when a flight's delayed. Right now, you would have to look at your phone or you would have to ask your Amazon Echo, you know, what's going on with my flight. This way, you can actually say, OK, it, it'll just speak up and say, excuse me. Uh, just let you know your flight's been delayed or your pizza's on the way or let you know you got an email or a text message from a certain person or let you know you just missed a phone call or be reminded that you should leave now for an appointment or be told that there's heavy traffic or know that it's just started raining. So these are these are just some of the things that it can proactively tell you. We're going to use IFTTT. I'll put a link for that up above. That is a free service where basically if this happens, then do this. Essentially what we're going to do is use any source and if to run an Amazon Echo routine. We're going to... So in this example, what we're going to do is have our Amazon Echo automatically tell us when it's raining out. First, I'm going to create a virtual switch, a pretend switch. So I'm going to come into my devices and we'll call it rain and we're going to give it the label of rain and then for an id call it 1009 doesn't really make any difference i don't need a zigbee id i'm going to go down and select i have this simulated switch and a simulated button that work with the amazon echo i'm going to go ahead and just use the button it asks me where is it going to be located, which hub to use. We're all set. I hit create. So now I have a button called rain. It's all set. The next thing I need to do is go into IFTTT. So I'm going to come over to the plus sign. It says which condition needs to be set. The condition that needs to be set is a weather one. So I'm going to go to weather. So it says, okay, today's weather, current temperature, this is what we want, rain. I'm gonna go ahead and click rain. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my address in here. So we're gonna go ahead and create the trigger. That's the if part, that's what has to happen. Then what do we want it to do? Then do this. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click on smart things. And we'll just use switch on, that's fine switch on which switch so i click in the down button here and you see we have one called rain now we're going to go to the amazon echo app we're going to go to routines we're going to hit the plus sign and it says when what happens and you're going to click on the plus sign we're going to see all the virtual buttons i've created and here's a button i have called rain we'll select the rain one so when rain is pushed, what do I want my Amazon Echo to do? Well, in this case, I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to hit Amazon uh, Echo. I'm going to hit customize and I'll say 
that will make it say, excuse me, just letting you know, it just started raining. I can pick where it's going to actually say that. Usually I would be in the bedroom. That's where I want to hear it or in the office. I set up one for my ring doorbell. So when it detects motion late at night at the office door, then I want to push a specific button. The button I created was called office motion ring. So with ring office motion, it says, excuse me, motion was detected at your office. I know I went over this super, super fast. I want to get this information out. Hopefully you now see it. I can do this. If not, leave a message in the comments that you want an in-depth video on this. Let me know what you think. And until the next time, this is the High Tech Nomad signing out.